So when you're buying a brand new car, the salesman might use abbreviations like MPG, which is the car's fuel efficiency, or HP, which stands for horsepower, or MSRP, which is manufacturer's suggested retail price. But when they're asking you to install a window tint, you might also hear some of those same abbreviations and sort of be left in the dark of, what does this mean? So I'm gonna take the time today to tell you what all those abbreviations mean in window tint terms. The most notable or most common is VLT. That stands for visible light transmitted, meaning how much light actually comes through that window film into the vehicle. So most times people think the higher the number would be the darker the tint. But in reality, visible light transmitted means the lower the number, the darker the tint. So say a 5%, which is a limo tint, means that only 5% of the visible light is transmitting through that window film. So the next term you really need to know and understand is VLR. So VLR stands for visible light reflected. And the higher the number, the more visible light is reflected. So let me give you a for instance, an untinted glass will reflect about 10% of visible light. And we've all been there where you're driving home at five o'clock, the sun's shining directly in your eyes, or you're driving at night and you have high beams just screaming into your back glass and you just really can't see, you're really distracted because there's a lot of glare. So by putting on a high quality window tint, window film, and increasing the visible light reflected, you will reduce that glare, have a more safe and pleasurable and easy driving experience. So that brings me to the third term, which is glare reduction. We just basically described it where, where you get that haze on your windshield and you just really can't see through it. It's important to know that glare reduction is different than VLT. VLT stops light from traveling through. To reduce glare, you need VLR, which actually makes the light bounce off. By putting a window film over bare glass, the combination of those two is actually what really produces the glare reduction. So the next term you need to know is IR, which is an abbreviation for infrared radiation. So I'll paint another example for you. Say you're parked out on a, on a hot blacktop and there's heat radiating off the road. Your eyes can't see it, but that heat wants to travel up and into the vehicle. So what an IR rated window film does is it actually captures that heat onto the glass and then dissipates it so quickly and it doesn't allow it to travel through the glass. Most films will block 99% of UVA and UVB just traveling through the glass, but a non-IR rated window film will not block ambient heat that you can't see. So the next term you want to know is teaser or T-S-E-R. That stands for total solar energy rejected. Essentially, the higher the teaser number, the more effective it is at blocking the three main effects caused by solar energy, which is visible light, IR, and UVA and UVB. Teaser is essentially the overall measurement of how effective your window tint is. So there you have it. That's the five important terms you need to know when deciding which window film is for you. Always remember, Ceramic Pro is more than just a product. We are a great service. If you're looking for any of our certified installers, check out ceramicpro.com and I will see you on the next video.